Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Catalan Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 21 YouTube videos on Catalan Automation concepts covering the basic and intermediate concepts of Catalan Automation tool. So this is our lesson 22 where I am going to teach you what is setup and teardown in Catalan Studio and how can you configure the setup and teardown by using Catalan Studio and then how can you use the configured setup and teardown functions by using Catalan Studio. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay. So in this lesson, by end of this lesson, you're going to learn how to configure setup at test suite level and then how to configure teardown at test suite level. And also you're going to learn how can you configure setup at test case level and then how can you configure teardown at test case level. So now let's jump out of the system and see how can we create setup and teardown in Catalan Studio. Okay, so this is my Catalan uh, Studio. Okay, so let me create. So before we start automating um, our test case and uh, uh, see how can we configure setup and teardown, let's create one folder under test case module. Okay, right click and create a folder. Lesson 22. Okay. And now, so I think if you see my previous video, lesson 21, we already automated login and registration functionality. So let me show you again how to automate that. Okay. So in this folder, right click and click on new test case now and name this as login test. Okay. And then Okay, so we are going to automate as usual. We are going to automate the website um, called example.testproject.io. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, first let us automate login functionality as we did earlier. Okay, so for that I am just recording record web. Let me close this. I am going to use record web option to make it quicker. Record web. And then provide the URL here. It's already there. And then select the record button. Okay. It's already selected Chrome. I'm going to select it as record. And once it record it starts recording, it's going to open the website. And then I'm going to perform actions. So let me expand this to see. See, it is taking all my actions. Okay. Click on login. That's it. And then save the script and stop the recording and save the script. And then let me create a new folder here to store my locators. Login test underscore one. Click OK and then click OK. So this is my script. OK. So here if you see is OK. So this is all my steps. OK. And then I'm going to create another test called registration. Okay. So let's go back to the same folder here. Right click and then new test case registration test. Click OK. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an existing. So I'm going to record this again. I'm going to record, but this time I'm going to follow a different method. So let me go back here. Let's log in and let me land on to registration page. So this is my registration page where I have to provide country, address, email and phone. Okay. So now let's go back to Catalan and here let's use record web. But this time instead of using your new browsers, I'm going to use the active browser. Okay. Active browsers. I'm going to select Chrome and continue recording. Okay. And let's go back to this browser. Now it's going to continue the recording in the existing browser. Okay. 
I'm going to select the country as Algeria and then I'm going to provide my address and then email ID and the phone number okay and then click on save and log out that's it so let's stop the recording and then let's save the script and I'm going to create a new folder registration test underscore one click OK and then click OK so now my script has been saved my second test case has been saved okay so my first test case is I'm just performing login and second test case, test case I'm not performing login again I'm just directly doing registration okay so here now I need to what is the setup first I need to configure setup and I need to configure teardrop so what is setup first setup means so in generally whenever you automate any test case in one of the any any kind of environments right there are some preconditions that you need to set up before you open the application or before you start automating the test cases right for example opening browser is one precondition or it is a, you need to set up this environment basically right setting up environment in terms of opening the browser or entering the URL right or if you want to generate any random uh, phone numbers or if you need to generate random SSN numbers right so you cannot use uh, duplicate phone numbers duplicate SSN numbers when you are automating uh, a scenario with different sets of data right so creating random SSN numbers creating random phone numbers before you um, enter the data into the application so you can basically set up those generation of the random numbers also correct setting up random numbers setting up some variables uh, setting up the URL setting up the environment all these comes under setup and what about teardown teardown means once you complete your test case automation and the execution is completed and what are all the things you need to do for example closing browser is one teardown action or deleting some temporary files your excel files or if you are logging any um, logs right deleting the logs or deleting some pdf files that you are storing so all these things comes under teardown so basically you are resetting your environment once you complete your execution okay so now so for that first of all let us create a test suite okay so let's go to set test suite and create a new test suite now test suite name this as setup teardown okay click ok okay so before we call the before we call these two test cases to our test suite let me do some modifications so here opening browser and navigating to URL so these two are my setup configurations so I don't want to keep these two into a test case I want to move these repeatable functions to setup configuration so that's why I'm going to delete this delete opening the browser delete navigating to the URL okay before deleting I'm just I'm gonna copy this code here in the script mode copy okay I'm gonna delete navigate to URL correct and then after clicking on login I want to directly perform registration so that's why close browser also I'm going to delete okay this comes under teardown and let me go to registration test also and here in the same way I don't want to keep open browser in the test case navigate to URL also I don't want to keep in the test case and then closing browser also I don't want to keep in the test case I want test case means it's just a test case related steps okay so now 
save all these changes. So if you see, observe in both the test cases, I don't have any initiation or pre uh, setup related actions like opening browsers or closing browsers. Correct? Done. So now let's go to your test suite just now we created. What is the test suite we created? We created a test suite called setup teardown. So here I want to call those two test cases. From lesson 22, I want to call login test, registration test. Click OK. So now, now we need to set up your configure setup process. Let's go to script mode where we are actually under test suite. We are not under test case. Okay. We are under test suite. Under test suite, you need to go to script mode. And if you see here, there are some functions that are already available. What are those functions? Setup at the rate setup. This is one function. And setup, that means you are setting up environment for the test suite and tear down you are cleaning your test suite environment and one more thing is set up test case you are actually running before each test case starts basically you are setting up environment before each test case right and then tear down test case this is you are actually clearing the environment after running the test case. So the difference between setup and setup test case is setup means all the actions with you define in that setup runs before your test suite begins. Setup test case means all the actions that you define in this function will run before any test case runs. Each test case. In the same way teared on means it's going to clean or it's going to perform all the actions you define here after running your test suite. And tear down test case is it's going to perform all the actions you define here after each test case. Okay. So now first let's see test suite level. Defining as I told you in the previous slide, you can define setup and tear down at test suite level. Okay. So let's see what is our test suite level. So here under setup test suite i'm going to define opening the browser what i'm doing i'm opening web ui dot navigate to url i'm actually opening the url and then under tier down i want to close the browser i want to close the browser so basically closing the browser is a normal step that you perform for every any kind of um, actions right so Closing browser, so I mean, you can directly copy web UI dot close browser. Uh, it's a small command here, right? So let me go back to the test suite again. Okay. Set up and tear down test suite. So what I'll do under tear down, I'm going to specify web UI dot So web UI dot close browser. Okay. Web UI dot close browser. That's what I'm going to specify. So web UI dot close browser. So this is my tear down. That means once the test suite execution is completed, I want system to close the browser. Right. Now save this. So now let's see. Let's go back to the main view. And now if I execute this test case, if you see these login test, these test cases does not have open browser and registration test does not have closed browser. Correct. But we added them as part of your test suite as a setup and as a tear down methods. Correct. Under scripts. Right. So now if I run this particular test suite, now these two test cases should run successfully by opening your browsers and closing the browsers. So now let's run these test cases. Run Chrome. We'll see now. So now first before test three, I mean test case starts, 
that means before test suite executes it should perform setup which is opening the url so if you see here okay i think there is a problem okay what is the problem let's see okay i think yeah so one thing we are missing here okay what we are missing let's go back to script here okay one thing is if you see here this setup skipped equal to true that means we are instructing task sorry um, catalon to skip this particular function so you need to make this as false in the same way tiered on also you need to make this as false so that these two functions will be included whenever you execute the suite now let's see now okay so you understand right if these two skipped equal to true defined as skipped equal to true then these functions will be skipped simple so now let's run this again so now before you run this let's go back to script and make sure everything is fine so close browser i think there was a semicolon here i removed this okay let's save this um i think open browser is not needed again you can simply navigate web ui dot navigate we can do and then let's run this particular test suite so before it starts running the test suite it should open the url first okay so if you see at the bottom you can observe it should call your setup see it is calling setup oh i think we have to open the url sorry so i think there is a mistake here let's go back to script and here let's paste open browser save this and let's go back to main and then again execute it okay so basically we missed uh, one step called open browser and then navigate to okay without opening the browser you cannot perform navigate operation right click and now run this so so now it should successfully call your setup function first and then execute test case 1 test case 2 see it is opening starting your chrome driver and then it should execute test case 1 and then test case 2 and then it should call tear down see test case 1 is done you now test case 2 is running done email done log out close so if you see here even tear down if you see first test case 1 test case 2 before that before running test cases there is a setup which is actually performing open browser and navigate to after test case 2 there is a tear down which is actually closing your browser so here in the setup whatever the actions that you that you want to perform before your test case execution as i told you generating some random numbers or uh, creating your excel sheets and everything you can put in setup okay so now let's go back to script again and if you want to define this at test case level you can do same thing so if i want to run so basically what you can do you just go here under test case you can define any action that you would like to perform for each test case right so it's same like test suite only thing is the difference is instead of setup you are going to use setup test case instead of tear down you can use tear down test case so that means which runs after each test case ends which runs after each test case starts okay so this is the way you can define your setup and tear down at test suite level and test case level hope you all understand the concepts very well if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you hope you all understand the concepts of setup and tear down functions in catalan studio if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon and receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you